Russia stopped invading Ukraine, it would end the war. If Ukraine stopped defending itself against Russia, it would be the end of Ukraine. That's why together we're making sure Ukraine can defend itself. President Biden making a surprise visit to Kyiv Monday. He stood side by side with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky as he announced another aid package is on its way. This week marks one year since Russia invaded the country. It comes on the heels of new reports indicating China may be considering providing help to Russia. Today, President Biden spoke in Poland, offering his support for what he calls a fight for democracy. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert spoke with a Southeast Texan who spent time in Ukraine bringing supplies from Kyiv to the front lines. So, Cam, what does this anniversary uh, mean to him? Certainly a lot. TJ Rodman lives in Lumberton. He actually has a job here at 12 News, which he got after he returned from Ukraine. He says this anniversary is another sign that Ukraine is not giving up. And he says President Biden's visit is the ultimate sign of support. One year of death and destruction. Russia's war on Ukraine rages on. President Putin chose this war. Every day the war continues is his choice. We need to President Biden on the ground in Kyiv Monday as sirens blare. We're moving to the next spot. His visit a needed boost of morale for Ukraine. When President Putin ordered his tanks to roll into Ukraine, he thought we would roll over. He was wrong. The Ukrainian people are too brave. In Lumberton, the one-year anniversary will have a special meaning for T.J. Rodman. One of the things that, that still sticks in my mind is I watched a 19-year-old kid die from an arm wound where he just bled out, bled to death, like right there in front of everybody. Rodman spent a month in Ukraine working with nonprofits to bring supplies from Kyiv to the front line. No one ever prepares you for what it's like when you start hearing bullets go by. His group caught wind of an abandoned elderly home and started evacuating patients after a drop-off. <laughs> they came face to face with Russian forces. Three rounds go by and then I heard, I, I saw the plume of dust come off of a wall and the next thing I know I'm, I'm laying down and I'm sitting up and just my whole world was, it was fire. I, everything was on fire, I, you know, I was screaming and they had somebody cover my mouth. Rodman caught a ricochet bullet in the chest. It was about a half an inch away from hitting me in the neck. Shortly after, he returned home to Southeast Texas. It, it was the dumbest thing I've ever done, but, it, but it's also one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. A year later, the trip still gives him anxiety, but he's glad he went. We've been through enough, we've been through enough hurricanes and we've seen how our community can come together. We can see, we've seen how other communities have come together to help us. Why can't, why can't we as a community come together to help other humans that are suffering needlessly when we, when we have the capability or the capacity to help them? Since taking office, President Biden's administration has committed at least $25 billion to Ukraine. During his surprise visit, Biden called this a war for democracy. Friday marks the official one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.